want to talk about a shocker? Check this out. Loris put in his transfer request. And he doesn't want to stay at Spurs no more. Loris is our best player. He's the one player I said I don't want to lose. I'm probably going to have to lose him. So Bayern and Barca both asked to buy Loris. I said, if you guys give me 20 million, 20, 25 million, you can have him. And I'm not sure why Bayern's bidding for him because Bayern has Neuer. I, I don't really understand that. I don't get it one bit, but... Damn, I was pissed when Lordy's putting his transfer request. It was ridiculous. So as I set the team up and you guys can watch me do that, I quickly want to say if you want cheap lava coins, make sure to check out the description down below for UT coin traders. Now, the Lordy's thing was I got blindsided, man. I was I was building the team around Lordy's. I was building a solid squad, and then all of a sudden, I have to let him go. It's 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 ridiculous obviously i'm doing everything in my power to try to keep him here i really don't know what else i can possibly do but going into this big match against arsenal now i know we got to forget about the lordy's drama and just deal with arsenal spurs versus arsenal big rivalry and the problem is is right when i try to just forget about what's happening well you gotta listen to this welcome to today's game well, this is the guy everyone's talking about, that late transfer request, late in this transfer window, but he's playing here today, Alan. Well, he is, and that's a sign that the manager feels he's a good professional, that he can concentrate on the job in hand, and there's no mileage. Uh, I'm just trying to get my players, I'm just trying to get myself to forget about this, this shocker, and then we come into the game and the stupid commentator's talking about it. So we have a tough game against Arsenal. We picked up our first three points against Crystal Palace. We beat them 3-1. to one. With some pretty good goals from Nelson Oliveira picked up two, and I believe Eto picked up one. So the one thing that I'm really starting to notice, especially against Arsenal, is at least in this first half that I was I'm solid defending with four four two three one. I mean I'm not the best defender, as you can see. Sometimes they weave right past me, but I, I'm 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 way better defending here than I was at Austin Villa, and obviously I might have better players here. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's just that I have the two defensive mids to help out down the middle but so far so good man so far the first 17 minutes of this game i felt like both of us both teams were attacking each other i feel like we had the better the chances to take the lead and and i felt i felt pretty good with the formation so far the one thing i've talked about it before is when when you're defending look how many people are back yo the entire team is back and then when you go to attack not that many push forward unless you hold the ball in the midfield then all of them get forward look at right here look how many were forward when i win that penalty right there baby etho wins a penalty which means i'm putting etho to the spot the old legend to the spot he goes left and he puts it into the back of the net we take the first goal we take the first lead in arsenal stadium in front of their home fans we did well so like i was saying when you defend you defend with the entire team when you push forward you push forward with the entire team but it just takes a very, very long time for them to get forward. So, now I do like the formation. I'm going to stick with this formation probably for the whole year. I mean, I really, really like that he's given me a different play style to a style I've never played before in FIFA. Now, right after halftime, I felt good about taking that goal right into the halftime break. But Arsenal hits right back with a very, very cheesy lucky goal. I mean, look how lucky that goal was. And it bounced off of my player. I believe that was Kabul that bounced off of and fell right back to them and they put into the back of the net. But we're a strong team. You know, I think we have great, great players. And that's why right here we hit them on that counterattack. And Eto's going to tuck that one home. The legend has three goals already in just two games in the BPL. Eto is beasting and feasting for Spurs and proven to be a world-class signing for us in the beginning of the season. Now, if Lloris does leave, and I'm not sure if he is or not yet, so if he does leave, it's going to give us a lot of money to play with, where we might be able to bring in a couple more cams. We might, to be, might be able to bring in a new... Well, we have to bring in a new goalie because I'm not keeping Gomez in goal. So uh, it, it, there's some positives of, of Lloris leaving, and there's a lot of negatives if Lloris leaves because he's a great goalkeeper. Walcott there get that, got that one right past Lloris. And here I made some changes, and... and Nelson Oliveira is my go-to guy, and not only him, Lago. Lago is becoming my go-to guy. I pull out Dembele, and I thought about Dempsey, but then I said, you know what? Let's go with Lago. Lago. You know what I'm saying? Lego. So I put Lago in, and he, he's becoming my go-to man when, when we need something. Here, oh my days. 
Our first loss in the BPL could come off of a penalty. I thought Boateng got the ball, but he didn't. Lord East, the man that wants to leave on the spot against Dezeko. Dezeko, Dezeko! He puts it over! And yes, Dezeko left Man City and came to Arsenal. That's crazy, but... The game ends 2-2. Pretty good. We tie against Arsenal in their stadium. We beat Crystal Pal Palace 3-1. So we start the season off with four points. You know what? As, as a manager in a BPL, four points out of two games, I think you'll be happy with that. And, and, and just to give you confirmation, the club does want Lourdes to leave. And I've had a situation in previous manager modes where I've tried to hold the player and then I ended up getting poo-poo money for him. So it's an absolute shocker. And we're going to have to see what happens with Lourdes, man.